know who you are and what you want. You must do it. Alright guys, I think I'm done. So I'm just going to do a quick tour. This is not going to be a full-on collection video, but I'm just going to kind of tell you why I placed things the way they are. Alright, so starting from here, um, I tried to organize. So the hierarchy goes like size, publisher, and then alphabet. But I, sometimes I think I deviated away from that just to make things look a bit neater. But anyways, here we have all the really tiny volumes. Most of it is by Seven Seas, Dark Horse, Vertical. And then here we move on to our Shoujo. We have our Tokyo Pop. All the way here, Shoujo Beat. And then here we have Yen Press. And then next is Kodansha. So here we start getting into the normally sized volumes. And here we have our Shonen Jump. So these two are its own shelves. They don't continue onto this side at all. But starting from the third one, we have a continuation. And here's just some empty space. So here it is not level at all. It's not even at all. But I decided to make this a continuation of the Shonen Jump viz. So here we have Hunter and all the way through and then this one continues down to here yeah that's a continuation and here we move on to the big volumes mostly viz sigs and here i'm going to have a continuation of viz sigs when i get more tokyo goal and monster and other series and then this one is empty for now yay this is a very new feeling having empty shells and here we have our hardcovers and hopefully I get to expand more on this soon. All right, and so I skipped over these two shelves, these three shelves actually, wow. So here we have three shelves of Japanese manga. So here I also did it by size, but I started from the big ones first. Over here, I sorted by publisher. Here we have Margaret Comics, all the way to here. And then we have Ribbon Mascot. And then we have City Hunter. And then we have some tinier volumes right there. And then here we have our Mandarin. And here we turn to our large Japanese volumes. As you can see, there is a lot of potential. And the reason why this shelf is so big is because I want to install another shelf. I couldn't find one at Ikea because it was out of stock. So I'll be getting an extra shelf just to put around right there so I can have two more shelves or just one more shelf and then one for some decoration. And so same thing with down here, you can see there's like a large space here that can be potentially filled. I don't think any manga is gonna fit in that. Maybe the smaller Japanese volumes, but I think here I might just install like a glass shelf or something for decoration because I do have a lot of things I could be putting for decoration. I am so happy to finally get a new shelf. I think that this Billy shelf really lives up to its hype. The quality is really nice and it wasn't too hard to build at all. And I really like the readjustable shelves and the fact that you can buy more to add on later. <laughs> it's kind of bothering how these are not the same depth or like the shelves are not aligned, but you know what? It's okay. I think it still looks wonderful. And I can put some stuff on top of there as well. Potentially box sets and more manga. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.